In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to run the Y cross concept in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, I'm working out of the empty trade stack in the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. We're going to be going over the Y crossing concept, which is one of my favorite passing concepts in the entire game. And we're actually going to be doing this through the lens of one of my favorite, probably my top two or three plays in the game right now. Uh, and that is this play right here. If I could find it, fade out. We're going to use this play to create the, um, the uh, Y crossing concept and out of the air raid. So uh, real quick, before we dive too deep into this video, if you wanna get my full gun empty tray stacks mini scheme, I'm, I am uh, updating it in our true fan membership today with kind of all the up-to-date concepts. So if you wanna get the most up-to-date version of that five wide mini scheme, then I would encourage you to join the true fan membership. It's a great resource for you for Madden 22. We're gonna be uploading content. We're gonna have our first Madden 22 videos literally in nine days so i'm so excited to get into the game uh with you guys and really talk about you know some of the concepts so again if you've not joined the true fan membership it's five bucks a month you get 12 additional videos um for offense for defense we also break down pro players every single week in there um and we're going to be starting ramping that up so if you're not a true fan of the channel yet i'd encourage you to join it it's just five bucks a month there's a link in the description and the cool part is you can cancel whenever you want um, so you don't have to like sign up forever. You can just cancel whenever you want to. So anyways, let's go over fade out. I'm really excited to get into this Y crossing concept. This is one of my favorite concepts in Madden, and now we can do it from five wide. So uh, first and foremost, I want to show you how to run this concept with our Hot Rat Master, and then we're going to show you how Hot Rat Master can really make this really, really good. So all we're going to do is actually on this left side, we're actually not going to do anything um, different than what we have. We're going to keep this concept exactly as is. The only thing we're going to do on the right side, and it's really up to you in terms of how you want to do this, but from what I have seen, I have found this to be the most effective way to do this. And all we're going to do is we are going to take the R1 receiver on this play, and we're going to put him on either a zig or a flat route. That's up to you. And then the circle receiver, what we're going to do is we're going to put him on um, we are going to put him on a smart routed in route, just like this. That's going to create that Y cross. Another way that you could do that is you could create, you could do two things. You could run a post curl. So I could put R1 on a post and circle on a curl. Well, I'm sorry, this is without our master. So um, the other way that you could do this is you could do a curl with the R1 and an out route with the circle receiver or vice versa, you could do curl flat. So those are really the two to three ways that I would recommend doing this. Personally, I like the dig route most. I think it's the best way to run this concept. Okay, so what we're gonna do is it's really a natural progression. We're just reading this, we're literally just reading this right to left. Um, now, one thing you can do really quickly is you can put triangle on a streak. You can certainly do that. And the reason I like to do that is just because it's gonna help a little bit clear out some space for this X receiver, um, but you don't have to. You can leave them on the wheel route, okay? And then all we're gonna do with the square receiver is one of two things. We can motion him to the outside or we can just snap him. And you'll see here, if we just snap him, what you're gonna see is he is always your first progression. And typically what you're gonna get, especially if they're running a lot of Mabel coverage and because you're using this, um, because you're using this this wheel route on the left side, if you leave the wheel route, what you're going to get is you're going to get a lot of just snap hike throws. You see the snap throw right there. I can throw it easily for several yards. So basically, I'm reading the wheel to the. Or I'm reading that little quick snap throw. Then I'm looking at the wheel, and then I'm looking to the tight end. Okay, and you can hit the the beauty of the the Y cross, and really what we're trying to accomplish is you can hit the tight end in a lot of different avenues. So again, just real simple setup, nothing too crazy here, but I'm looking there, okay, maybe not there. So now I'm working to the tight end and they see there, and the Y cross is really actually meant to be thrown um, inside the numbers. Most people, when they run crossing routes, they wanna throw them on the sideline. 
This in particular concept from the Air Raid is really meant to be something that you're going to throw, you know, kind of inside the numbers, um, you know, really over the middle of the field. So because based on that definition, when he cuts on that first thing, as you can see right there, he were able to hit him kind of crossing over the middle of the field. Now we don't want to, um, you know, we don't want to dismiss the fact that the user might be in play here. But one of the things we do want to kind of highlight is typically if they don't use her that snap throw, we can throw that ball every single time. So because they're going to have to go over there with that yellow zone, what it does is it creates a lot of space right over the middle of the field, just like that, for us to be able to hit that. Now again, like I said, I don't want to dismiss the route and I don't want to dismiss the user. And so what I want to do is I want to start this guy over here, but we're actually going to man him up onto the onto the tight end. And I want to show you what um, what really becomes open if they do that. And the route that really becomes a pain if that is what happens and what they do um, is, is two things. The first one is obviously if they run left, you can throw your out route. But the other route you can do is your, your, deep, your deep dig route over the middle of the field. Um, your deep dig route over the middle of the field is going to be a phenomenal win or, um, option for you because he's just going to, he's not going to necessarily get like super wide open. Um, part of this is because we don't have like a drag, we're using a flat route. If you wanted to, what you could do is you could put like Miller on a hitch. You could do that, um, but I, I personally like to just do it like this. And again, what you'll see here is your R1 is kind of your bailout route. If they really are dropping a lot of people back into coverage and they're using those 10 yard seam flats that really do a decent job of defending that, that, that in route, then as you can see right there, we can always check down to the flat. The other thing is if they go with the, even if they don't go with it, but if they, if they really work that over the middle of the field, you'll see here that if I up, just simply put an up pass lead on that in route, it's gonna put him in a really unique position that's gonna get open against a lot of coverages. Now I wanna spend a few seconds showing you how you can run this with Hot Rod Master and make it even better. And basically what the, the gist of what we're going to do here is we're going to take our tight end, uh, which is the X, and we're gonna put him on a crossing route. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the, um, we're going to take the R1 receiver and we're gonna put him on a post and then what I like to do is actually put the curl out there to the, to the circle receiver. So it's a very down the field, vertical type of passing concept. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a little bit of motion to make it even more effective. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna motion Miller in, and then we're just gonna motion him out to kind of get him a little bit more delayed. And what you're gonna see is these routes will really complement each other very nicely just like that. Um, now what you can also do from this if you wanted to create it, especially if you have um, you know, really good, a really good hot route master quarterback, is you could actually create this concept to the opposite side. So what we can do is we can actually take the R1 and put him on a, uh, a smart routed out route. We could then take, whoops, a smart routed out route maybe, if I can get the adjustments on here. And then we can take the X and we can put him on a hitch and then we can take the triangle receiver, put him on a crosser, and the X or the square receiver, I apologize, this is on a, a post. We motion that post out just like this, and now what we've done is we've created more of a traditional way of running Y cross that that crosser is gonna have a lot of room to be able to hit that hit that sideline just like that. Um, so that's another fun little, uh, little trick that you can use uh, to make this Y cross play really, really effective and really, I think, just really powerful. Um, another thing you can do, like I said, we talked about is this post and then the crosser. Um, if you wanted to, what we really can't unfortunately create is a post curl. Um, this is like the one thing we can't really get on this. So that's where I tend to just come back to, you know, something like that. And then if we wanted to, we could actually turn this out route here, even though the out route is really, really good. If we wanted to, we could put him on a hitch. And the reason I like the hitch is because this is gonna help open it up against the cloud flats. You'll see here a 30 yard cloud flat um, is really gonna stay inside and that tight end should have a little bit of a window in which we can hit him, you know, kind of inside the, or in the, in the field of play. And the same thing will go for the opposite side. If we were to run the same concept and then what we did was we used a, a shallow cross to get to that flat on the left and then we used a hitch what you'll see now is that cloud flat on the right is not going to have a chance 
to defend this triangle receiver. You see triangle gets wide open on the sideline for an easy, easy read. So that's kind of a way that you can run wide cross from both sides of the field. The reason I like Hot Route Master, especially for this play in particular, is because it does that when you put are able to put him on an, a you know like a traditional crosser it makes it a lot more effective against um against zone one last little pro tip about this play that you can use if you want to get your crossing route to go a little bit deeper specifically if you're wanting to work the sideline a little bit what you want to do is you want to take the x and put him on a flat and then we're going to put the circle receiver on that smart route of dig we're going to put the r1 now on a crosser and then what I like to do is that's where I really like to use the hitch. This is more of an end to half kind of version. But now what you'll see is when we motion this receiver in, and then we're going to kind of do a, a ghost motion out, what you'll see is now he's got a lot of time to be able to really get over the top of these clouds and get over the top. It gets a lot of space, a lot more room to run. So that is um, that's another little way that you can run the Y crossing concept. Uh, we haven't talked too much about Y cross uh, since we've been doing the five wide. You can also run two crossers if you want to, even though I wouldn't necessarily do that. Um, but another thing that you can do, this is just kind of trying to give you some ideas of how we could do this. You maybe put a corner route to, to the triangle, um, but really get this guy out wide and kind of allow him to the whole field to be able to run that crosser. And look, the cloud flat completely will glitch out. Not even a chance to stop that. So when you get the crossers out wide like that, it can really help them kind of get underneath uh, of a lot of things that the defense wants to do. So anyway, or over the top of the cloud flats, and that's a 30 yard cloud flat that you were seeing. So anyways, that's the wide crossing concept from five wide. There's a lot of different ways that you can run this, but I think it's one of the best concepts that we have. Um, it's really a down the field pass it's not something quick but it's really really effective so i want to thank you for watching this video and if you want to get my route con or my true fan membership where we've actually broken down this entire empty tray stack scheme i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description it's just five bucks a month and if you pay five bucks this month you're going to get access to our madden 22 content that's going to be dropping within the next uh two weeks so thanks for your support i really appreciate it hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to join that true fan membership. I left a link for you down in the description so you can do that.